We told you about the big sell-off at the corner of Wall of Broad today. Almost a 500-point hit. Had been over an 800-point hit for the Dow. Uh, in and out of bear market territory. Just shy of it, even though in the middle of the day it had. S&P 500, NASDAQ, they've been in a bear market for quite a while now. Any concerns at the White House about all of this? Let's go to Gene Sperling, the senior advisor to President Biden. Uh, Gene, uh, I, I know the president likes to say he doesn't look at the markets uh, like his predecessor, obsessed with the markets. But you think now and then he should? I, I think our, I think you should always have your focus on the real economy, uh, what's happening with jobs, what's happening uh, uh, with investment. Those are the things you have to put your 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 focus on. But Wall Look, Street, no, you're not saying Wall Street's not real, right? I mean, it reflects layoffs, it reflects you know FedEx and and, and seeing a slowdown. It's real. It's not fake, right? I don't think you make policy based on the day-by-day -day gyrations of the market. And by the way, I think if somebody was trying to look for bad reactions to uh, uh, what I think are more of the kind of trickle-down supply-side type of policies of the past, you sh you're seeing a lot of reaction to what ha was announced in the U.K., not about anything that happened in the United States. But this so, isn't day-by-day, you know, day, right, Gene? This is, this is a market that's now lost a quarter of its value, right? Well, I mean, it, that all depends on what, what your baseline is, what, when your benchmark is from. But what I'm saying is, well, in you the know, case of the NASDAQ, we've had 3.5 million. The benchmark was where we were at the beginning of the we, year, right? We, we've had 3.5 million jobs created this year. You, you know, for the first eight months of a year, that is the third most in the history of our country. We're still at 3.7 percent unemployment. J.P. Morgan just did an analysis and found that people's checking books at every income level, checking accounts, are stronger than they were in 2019. I mean, those are things about the real economy, about the resilience that exists, about why we're positioned better than many of other countries who didn't take the type of steps that we did. And look, have you seen another country where so many people are deciding to relocate or create new manufacturing jobs to build their futures in the U.S. from Micron to First Solar to Intel? That's what's happening in the United States. Well, you talk so, yes, about the fact that we're going to be focusing on the resilience Gene, I see what and you're strength saying, of the fundamental economy. But you, you economy. talked about the checkbooks improving. So have the costs for them. So they're rapidly declining. Americans are, are, are looking at inflation that's double what it was that time. Yeah, I mean, no question we agree there. Inflation is still too high. Yes, it's come down from 9.1 to 8.5 to 8.3. Yes, we've seen gas prices down over a dollar thirty. We've seen other places, uh, other issues coming down. Um, we think there's a but lot there's of signs more going that up than there's a lot of down, signs. Right? There's more coming up that, than it's going down. Do you think no, the president you know what, realizes you know what, Neil, that? I would actually, I would actually, I would actually say that right now there is lots of reason to believe the prices will be coming down more. Inventories are high. I think you're going to see more discounting. There's some positive things that are happening that may take a while to work through. But I think if you look at the path, the path is likely to be a continued de decline well, you might in be inflation. Right on that. Gene, but you might I be right, admit, but, 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 but poultry, poultry is up I want to make clear, it's still Beef too is high. Thirty-eight percent. Almost Neil, all food items are Neil, up double not, digit. Eggs up Neil, 82 percent. So you're talking about Neil, take, something that's going to change. Neil, we, do, when? Neil, we don't always we don't always agree. So let's take our agreement here. Food prices are too high. Inflation is still too high. The president understands that because his whole focus is defending working families. He knows that even with this stronger job market, lower unemployment, he knows that people are getting hurt at the grocery line. Uh, uh, they were getting hurt but less so he, now Gene, at the gas you, pump. You talk about the fact we might be yes, through the worst. Neil, of, but wait a minute. Yes, he does. Since you and Absolutely I last he talked, does. All those you can ask me about it a million but times. No, Gene, Gene, but this is a president this, who is very aware of how working families higher. feel. All right. I, I'm, I'm not trying to be rude here. I'm just telling you, those prices are significantly higher than when you and I last talked. So they aren't getting better. They're getting worse. Those prices are getting higher. Neil, I think you were right that a lot of things that, you know, when you have inflation, uh, uh, there were things that came that have continued to come down. We basically had two months of flat inflation. That said, 
even though going from 9.1 to 8.3 in the headline inflation in two months is progress, you, you're absolutely right. It is not good enough. And particularly on food prices, uh, you know, we have not seen the kind of downward movement we want. And we're focused on it. And what we're trying to do and what this president is actively doing is fighting for things that will help families' pocketbooks. Now, you know, even if you can't have a, a magical solution to some areas. You can do things like have Medicare negotiate prescription drug prices and bring those costs down. You can cap insulin. But that's at, years, at, years, at, in the, at, that's at, years in the making. No, right? that's not true. That, that's going to hit in a few months. A lot of the tax incentives in the Inflation uh, Reduction Act for energy efficiency are take place right now. There are several things in there, including not re requiring companies to give a rebate to Medicare if they try to raise so you prescription. Could say Right now, prices Gene, that we're, above, in your eye, we're through the worst of it. It will get better That here. is happening all will, very it, soon. Are you saying, like, the, the drug thing notwithstanding, we hope you're right about that, that we're through the worst of it? In other words, you and I chat soon again. I hope it's soon again. Things will be better. You know, if you, you, I'm always asked to make projections. I, re, I resist, but I think most of the signs there suggest that inflation will ease. I think the question that it's right to ask, will it be enough? Will it be fast enough? Will it mean families are still not facing higher prices at the gas, at, at the grocery line? Those are all real questions. We're concerned. We're not trying to deny those things. What we're trying to make clear is there's also a lot of strength and resilience in this economy, and that this president, is the one who is actively looking every day to pass legislation to lower health care premiums for 13 million people by $800, to cap prescription drug costs at 2000 per year, well, to cap to insulin costs at 35 years. Well, but, else Neil, kind of but Neil, guess what? As you and I both know, money is fungible, so family yeah. budgets get squeezed. And when okay. you lower prices in one area, that does help a family, as the president say, have a little more breathing right. room, even at a time of, un of, of global inflation okay. hitting us here Gene, at home. Thank you very much. We see and hope you're right. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.